Hello. In this video, let's talk about uh, watermark. The concept is very important in the streaming processing because we are handling unbounded data. Some of them can be out of order, some of them can be too late for different reasons, such as the network latency or the time system in that uh, source system is not uh, accurate. And in stream processing, you don't want to keep waiting for the data, right? You, you need to create a, a bounded window so that uh, uh, every five minutes, every one hour, you can process all the data together and do some aggregation and uh, trigger the alert or send the data to other systems. And watermark is an important uh, mechanism allowing us to define which data can be discarded because they are just too late and uh, keep uh, showing timely results to the downstream system. I know there's already a lot of uh, great uh, blog or technical speech about this topic, but to better understand the watermark concept Maybe you can try this uh, new tool in our documentation. This will generate some random data and uh, uh, you can configure different uh, delays. You can see step-by-step -step how watermark progress. So the example here is using a tumble window, which is a fixed window with a five seconds as the window size. Default value we set uh, delay as two. And uh, you can just uh, click the play button and it will generate the data, but maybe it will be easier if you just uh, see the data change step by step. Let me explain this uh, canvas a little bit. So the X axis is the timestamp. Say in this example, uh, there's totally 30 seconds and every five seconds, we are going to create a tumble window to get uh, the, uh, the number of events, uh, the total value, the average value, but we are not considering the late event. So the normal event will be marked as this color and the yellow as the out of order event, but still calculated. And the red is the, for the late event we will discard. And the y-axis is the value of the data point. So now we have the first event on the timestamp of zero seconds with the value one. And let's click next. Now we have a new event, the event number two, uh, the value is four. And now our maximum event time we'll observe is one second. But, and we also set a delay as two. So if we keep getting one more event and uh, we get the, uh, this uh, new value as three and uh, we had a four. And uh, because four is uh, behind the max uh, event time, so it is a two second delay but it's still within this uh, delay range. It's considered as an out of order event, not a late event. And we get uh, number five and the number six. So when we get data point number six, the watermark is still two seconds behind. So it's still at uh, second number four. So this is why the, the first window is not closed yet. Okay, then we get uh, event number seven. Because of the two second delay, uh, the watermark is set at five. And this trigger aggregation results in the first window. And we can see there are one, two, three, four, five. There are five events and with the total uh, sum and the average. So let's keep moving on. So everything looks okay. And uh, the event number 10 closed the previous window. Let's see whether we can get any uh, late events. Okay, cool. For the event uh, 12, this is at uh, the 15 seconds. So the, ma the maximum event time we observe is 15 seconds. The following event is uh, 13 and uh, it was so late, it is seven second delay. So this event is, although in this range of uh, five seconds and uh, 10 seconds, but because it's so much delayed and this will be discarded. So we will not uh, update our previous uh, window aggregation. This data will be ignored. You can keep trying this. Hopefully this can help you better understand the concept of uh, watermark. Yeah, feel free to give us some feedback in our Slack to discuss more. Thank you.